Is it a packing video? It's a packing video. No, you want a nap, huh? Hello everyone. The time has finally come for me to actually give you guys a pack with me video. It is something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, but I just never got a chance to because I was always such a last minute packer or it was like a cloudy day, I did it at night. And anyways, I'm very excited to finally do a little pack with me video with you all. We are leaving for Japan in about 24 hours and I am just so excited. It will be Mark and I's second time in Tokyo. We went once before for a quick work trip, did not vlog it. I was not really as invested in my YouTube channel as I am now. So very excited for this trip. We are going for two weeks and we are going to Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and back to Tokyo. So very excited for all the different cities, all of the food, and I'm excited to bring you guys along. Wade, however, is in a mood today because he knows we are leaving. Mm. Thank you. Wade will be enjoying time with his grandparents who love watching him, so he is going to have a great time, right? I was hoping that I would have been all done packing by today, today's Friday. That just didn't happen. I had a lot of work things to finish up. I do have some stuff at the dry cleaners that Marco is picking up after work, so I can't pack everything, but of course I have had my outfit PowerPoint ready for like the last two weeks, so let me just take you through it because it does for sure help me you know, figure out what I'm bringing. I just want to be comfortable and a lot of things that I can easily rotate between. And also I'm trying to go shopping in Japan for some like good vintage pieces. It's just like some cool stores that we don't really have here. So I'm very excited about that. As you can see here, I have a pretty solid assortment of things. Pretty much only going with sneakers, my neutrals, but I'm gonna be pulling from my closet and grabbing everything and talking you through what I've decided to pack. And then at the end, we'll do a video on how I packed everything. I feel like that's like just the easiest format for this. I do just need to answer a couple of emails. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll start packing. I should have kept you close, I should have held you tighter Cause in my book you were my favorite chapter And when we left each other, damn, what was I thinking? Thought there was no answer, so blinded to believing Now, you're probably thousands of miles away And it's been years since I've seen your smiling face And even though I took measures for Okay guys, I just face, checked I I'm so excited. I actually have a meeting in a little less than an hour, so I'm not packing just yet, but I'm actually watching Nori's vlog. She just posted a day ago her four days in Kyoto. I'm excited to like take notes from her vlog because I have actually not done a full on itinerary, but I do plan on working on it tonight because I want to tire myself before the flight so that I can adjust accordingly. Although I feel like when I land somewhere i'm pretty good about jet lag but it's coming back from asia that's always really tough i actually got this app that i want to show you guys it's called time shifter you basically enter your flight information it tells you what you're supposed to do in order to help you fight off that jet lag i was supposed to start my time shift yesterday where i should be like exposing myself to a bright light. So I was in like a well-lit room while I was cleaning last night. And then I can only have coffee during this time frame. This is not sponsored by the way, but I'll let you know if this was helpful to me at all. Like tonight I need to expose myself to a bright light and then sleep for this amount of time. Basically very minimal sleep tonight. It's saying that I should sleep between two and seven. And then we're heading off to the airport and hopefully I'll be so exhausted that I will just sleep for a good majority of that flight and be awake for the last few hours of that trip. We land in Japan around 3 p.m. Hopefully smooth sailing. I'm so excited to vlog this trip with you guys. I am just waiting up for a meeting and it's basically my last work thing before I can just fully immerse myself in vacation mode. Vacation slash work mode, but like exciting work stuff. I promise I would have brought you to Japan, but it's just such a long flight. 
I'm also just making a couple of edits to my outfit PowerPoint. So after I put together the PowerPoint, I just try on the outfits to verify that it's gonna work. What I've picked out is pretty simple and easy, so I should be okay. I have not been this excited for a trip since probably right before our wedding. There is just something about traveling to Asia that, uh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to be back in Asia. Okay, so stuff is pretty much everywhere in this house. So I'm gonna go through my travel checklist. These are definitely coming with me. I normally just travel with my MacBook Air because it's so light, so easy. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro. I need to bring that computer with me because I want to edit as we go. Also, I need to like offload the footage and this computer cannot handle the editing. Also, very exciting stuff. I got the Sony ZV-E1 on loan from Sony. So this is what we're gonna be working with in Japan. I'm very excited. I will be bringing this lens with me, though I will probably only be using this lens when we're in the hotel room. We'll see, cause it's kind of big, so yeah, I have to, pack my camera equipment, so I'm trying to just set everything aside. Normally, this is what I shoot with. I don't think there's that much of a, okay, there's a pretty solid size difference, but whatever. I'm excited, I'm bringing big bags for this reason. Do I need my switch? Wallet, do I wanna use this one? I have like this bag that has a bunch of stuff inside, so this one will need to go through and organize. Do I wanna bring this? I do but my ears, but it's such a long flight. My piercing was how many weeks ago? I feel like it should be fun. We'll do a whole breakdown of that. around four. Okay, it's almost four. The most time consuming part is done where I go through all the outfits and make sure I love everything. But now I'm gonna just start folding and putting things into my packing cubes. These ones are from Monos. We're gonna see how much I can squeeze. I mean, the main parts of the outfits are just like basically the jackets and everything else is just like basics that I try and stock up on just so I can swap between things. So tank tops, um, I just pulled a bunch from my dresser and, and then I'm just gonna kind of narrow it down based on which ones I really like the feel of, not see-through, etc. So I'm going to do that now. Normally like when I'm packing too and I'm trying things on, I kind of go into a definite, a maybe, and a no section, just so that I know like what exactly is going where. This one is a definite because I like how thick this one is. And then cuts are like my favorite t-shirts because they're so nice and stretchy. Not super strict about the PowerPoint, like I'll throw in maybe an extra two or three pieces, mainly like dresses, just in case. This one is going to be my travel outfit. So that one we're setting aside. Fish sent over two dresses. So I'm gonna bring those along. I've actually been really into their stuff, especially their summer pieces. And then tonight will be clean up because obviously I have like a bunch of things that didn't make the cut for the trip. And then as I'm folding too, I'll probably edit a little bit and that's pretty much the process. I'm also trying to make sure that my packing is essentially done because I need to help Marco with his because yeah, he never knows like what he's bringing. We did already get some deep cleaning done in the house. We like to come back to a 
very clean home. So bathrooms and kitchen have been deep cleaned, vacuumed, floors are mopped. Normally like when Marco and I get home too, we like to immediately open up our suitcases and get laundry started. This really doesn't feel like a lot, to be honest. I'm also going pretty oversized for my outerwear because your girl is gonna be eating. Outerwear plus that one. Are you guys still with me? It's a process, I know. I'm tired too. I will pack my socks and underwear in their respective, drawing a blank. Packing cubes for accessories that I am bringing. Let's first do a rundown of sunglasses. So I've been really into these Bottega sunglasses that I got. Uh, just a solid black pair. And then for my brown, we're gonna go with the Betty. So it's a very subtle brown. I don't know if you can even see that. I try not to pack too much in terms of sunglasses because I don't wanna lose them. This is a good selection. For jewelry, I have my little organizer. This one is just from Amazon and it just has the compartments that I need. So these are the two earrings that I just got from a ring concierge. My dream pair of earrings because they're like the Bottega drop earrings, but instead of just like a gold paint, it's actually made of solid gold. The Bottega ones are definitely more of a statement because they're much bigger, but the backing is loose, so I actually have to replace it because when I was in Paris, it actually fell out of my ear and I noticed that there was already a dent on it. They're very hollow, they're very light. Great for special occasions, but I think for Japan and I wanna wear things like all day, I'm gonna go with the ring concierge ones. And then these ones that I'm wearing now are the Link and I can add on an extra piece to kind of get it to dangle so it's a little bit more, I don't know, like special. I watch in here, so this is gonna go in my carry-on. I'm not really bringing a lot, so I can actually take out this part of it and just have this. So that's pretty much all I'll need. I don't want to bring like a lot of my jewelry, so we're just gonna probably stick with this actually. I do want to get like those cute matching rings that I've been seeing on TikTok. All right, good. We were able to consolidate. A plus, great teamwork guys. For bag that I'm traveling with, I'm actually gonna keep it pretty light and bring my Goyard in the PM size because I wanna be able to use this tote while we're in Japan. I feel like this is just better for every day. If it rains, this is my bag. I am throwing it back a little bit. I'm gonna bring my Celine Trio. This hasn't been out traveling with me in a very long time, but I just need something simple, easy, chill, light, and yeah, I think this will be a good one for Japan and being hands-free. So I do try to have an assortment of bags. I try and have like a crossbody, a shoulder bag, and a tote bag. And then in addition to the bags I'm bringing, I will also be bringing a canvas tote. Last bag is this Bottega that I just got from net a -Porte. They gave me like a voucher for my birthday, and so I put it towards this. I've been meaning to get something in this kind of color, and when I was in LA last year, I was looking at, I think it was the porridge color for the teen size Bottega, and then I decided against it, and I'm just very happy with the suede version. I think it's just different, and I, I love the Jody, so very, very excited to bring this one along. And whites also, it's just so good. Very excited to bring this one along. I just love how the suede adds a bit more dimension to the texture of the bag. I wanted to bring my sardine, but it's a little too heavy. And so I'm not trying to put that much weight into my suitcase because I need to bring my laptop and a bunch of equipment. Um, Marco is carrying a camera backpack for me, so we should be good there. That's it for now. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we'll do a breakdown of beauty products, makeup. I'm so hungry. are 
definitely starting to hit me. Uh, made some did. Now I am just trying to organize all the tech stuff. So I have my Leica in this guy, which is probably going to go in this backpack. Marco is carrying this one. And then I'm working on my tote and what I want to have with me on the flight. Recently, I've been traveling like only carry-on. So now I have a bit of space. That way I'm not overstuffing my tote. So in here is all of the chargers for the cameras. I have my Leica and the camera straps in here. So that is probably going to go in Marco's bag because Marco really doesn't carry a lot. So it's like I have an extra bag. Uh, inside my tote bag, I have, and I'm pretty sure this is all I really need. I have the ZV E1. Note to self, put a memory card. Oh wait, I do have one in here. Do I have a memory card in the Leica? No SD card. Good thing I checked. Gotta put a memory card in there. Sunglasses cleaner. Although this one can probably go in my carry-on. I have my AirPods in here. Passport is in this pouch for the guard, so I can easily grab it. Vlog camera. And then this is where we have everything. This is like a little Kiana zip tote. So I've got a bunch of stuff in here. I have my Lumi uh, phone case so that I have light when it's dark. I have some oil blotting sheets. Chargers in here, USB and USB-C. My remote. I've got my liquid IV in here, foam for my hair, wallet is in here, charger. I've got a little uh, brow pencil and my eyeliner. Perfume, a pen, lip balm, hand moisturizer, my airfly for my AirPods, some sanitizer, and then the other things there's just like Tylenol, Benadryl, eye drops, Salon bus. Oh, my biofreeze needs to go in here. You'd get that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Feeling good. I feel like we're doing well. I feel like filming this is pressuring me to be efficient. Was I always this efficient packing? Probably not. Okay, now I'm going to go and put my clothes into packing cubes, and then we're gonna bring the suitcases up. Also, bring down my makeup and skincare. Marco's home. Set us home, lady. Is that Dada? Good job. My back is about to call it quits for like the day. I'm running up and down the stairs, but I finally got everything into the packing cubes. These two bags are going to go in my carry-on. I'll show you guys how I pack that because obviously I don't want to check in anything that's like super valuable, so going to be having most of my accessories um, with me in the carry-on luggage. I packed my little packing cubes. So this one is literally all socks, underwear, pajamas, bras, all in here. And what I like about the Monos ones is that they can compress. So if you wanted to squeeze them, you can. Everything's pretty loose in here, but at least it's all organized. Over here, is where I put my dresses. So I have some dresses in here. And then this one is all of my shirts and tops, plus my sleep shirt, uh, because I couldn't fit it in the other one. And then this guy has my blazers and my bottoms. So this is a good amount of the weight. I'm packing two of my sneakers, my New Balance 550s, and my Sambas, and then also going to be bringing my Hermes Orans, the black ones, so that I have an option that is a non-sneaker in case we go to like a nice restaurant. It's likely just in the hotel because we are staying at the Four Seasons when we first arrive. They're treating us to a omakase dinner, and I'm pretty sure it's Michelin starred. I'm gonna start hauling this stuff downstairs. I wanna take a nap, but I can't. I am bringing my Dyson with me, and I got this travel case from where else Amazon what I like about this organizer is that there are pockets for the attachments perfect clips 
up here in these little pockets and then this can just hang in the bathroom when I need to use it. I have like these little clip thingies from Amazon. Everything from Amazon. The Dyson website says that it will work in Japan because the US one is 120 volts and Japan is 100 volts so it should work. People told me that they brought theirs to Japan and it worked fine so I We'll give it a go and keep you guys posted on that. Add a list on the Dyson website where it shows you where it works. I'll try and insert a screenshot of it here. All right, we are getting there, guys. I'm almost done. Marco has not started packing yet. I don't know how chill he is. I wanted to bring the Monos, but it's a little bit smaller. And maybe if it was like a week long trip, that would work. But because we're going for two weeks and I plan on bringing them back like souvenirs for people, need to go with the Ramoa truck. So I'm going to pack everything in here. To be honest, I'm not gonna recommend this one because it feels pretty cheap but I didn't need something pretty, I just wanted something functional. So I got this one because the brushes can go on this side and then all of my makeup products are in there. So everything is kind of nesting well together. And then up here, I will just put my one jacket and my Dyson. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty shocked at how well this one was packed, like, did I not pack enough stuff? Last one is the carry-on, and then I think we're ready to go. This is a rosary that I just always keep in my luggage for when I'm traveling. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Bags I'm gonna put on this side. Wait, are you trying to help me? Brush, sunglasses, batteries. I will most likely put my laptop, some snacks, and maybe a pillow in this one. And that's pretty much it. I almost forgot. I have to bring fake Wade. I have to bring little fake Wade and then my travel tripod. Because the other ones are kind of too bulky. And then the ZVE one is a small enough camera, so it should be fine with this guy. I'm gonna clean. Don't need to film any of that, but yeah. Just need to clean so I can come back to a clean house. And I'll see you guys at the airport. That looks like the difference between someone who planned what they're packing and someone who just threw everything in last minute. All right, Wade, 